Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at trigonometric ratios for special angles. 30 degree, 45 degree and 60 degree are considered special angles and we are going to look at exact ratios for those angles. Okay, let's start with an investigation. So let's say we have a square here. Okay, how about if I draw a diagonal in the square? So that diagonal will divide this square into two equal right angle triangles. Also, that diagonal will bisect this angle. So it was 90 degree, now we have 45 degree here and 45 degree here. So similarly, same thing is on this corner, on this vertex. Okay, so we have 45 degree and 45 degree. Let's say the side lengths for this square is one unit okay so one unit each side right so uh, now I'm going to take one of those right angle triangles to work with I'm just gonna copy the same information here so side lengths are one and one here and this is 45 degree and this is 45 degree so the only unknown side here is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle and we can use Pythagoras to calculate the measurement of that hypotenuse. So we can say, uh, let me call this x, so we get 1 square plus 1 square equals x square. So that gives us one, uh, 2 equals x square, so we take the square root of both sides. Since x is a uh, side length, so it cannot be negative, so we can only take positive square root of 2. Okay. So this is one of our special triangles, okay? So 45 degree, 45 degree, and 90 degree. So, so far we have one, one, root two, and these are angles are 45 degree. Now let's write the trigonometric ratios of this 45 degree, okay? So sine 45. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse opposite is so you can use this 45 degree or that 45 degree it doesn't matter so let me take this 45 degree so opposite is 1 hypotenuse is root 2 so we get 1 over root 2 but here so let's uh, it says remember to rationalize all answers so we have to rationalize the denominator so we can multiply this fraction by root 2 over root 2 and that will give me root 2 over 2 okay so that's what we are going to use so let's look at cosine ratio of 45 degree so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so we have 1 over root 2 again okay if you rationalize same idea we get root 2 over root 2 so let's look at the tangent ratio of 45 degree so tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 1 over adjacent. 1, 1 over 1 gives you 1. Okay? So these uh, values are the exact uh, ratios for 45 degrees. Let's go back to investigation. And this time we're going to uh, look at 30, 60, 90 degree spatial triangle. In this case, we are going to use a equilateral triangle okay so how about if I uh, so from this vertex if I drop a, a perpendicular line to the base okay so that is actually the height of this equilateral triangle okay so in equilateral triangle we know that all angles are 60 degree so this is also 60 degree but that height or that perpendicular line uh, will bisect that uh, angle means we're going to have 30 degree here and 30 degree here okay this time let's consider side lengths being two units so each sides are two units also this one so again this height uh, will bisect the base so it will divide the base into two equal pieces so these two pieces are the same so if the whole length is two units, then we get one unit for each. Okay, so now these two uh, triangles are the same. 
I'm just going to take one of them to work with. So we have one here, two here, 60 degree and 30 degree. So we have only one unknown side. Again, we can use Pythagoras to calculate this unknown side. So you can call it h or x, doesn't matter. So we have x squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. So we get x plus x squared plus 1 equals 4. So x squared equals 3. x is plus and minus root 3. But again, x is a side length. It cannot be negative. So therefore, we get positive root 3. So this is the second special triangle. 30, 60, 90. So I'm just going to copy the same information here. So we said this side is 2, 1, and this side now we got being root 3. Okay, so let's look at sine 30 degree. So 30 degree is here, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So it is 1 over 2. So let's look at the cosine of 30 degree. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is root 3, hypotenuse is 2, root 3 over 2. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 1, adjacent is root 3, 1 over root 3. Again, let's rationalize the denominator, multiply this by root 3 over root 3. So you end up with root 3 over 3 here. So now let's look at uh, sine, cosine, and tangent of 60 degree. So sine 60, opposite is root 3, hypotenuse is 2. So we get root 3 over 2. Cosine 60, so adjacent over hypotenuse, 1 over 2. And tangent 60 degree, opposite over adjacent, root 3 over 1. So we get root 3. Okay, and this is our now uh, second special triangle. So let's look at some examples here. Okay, so determine the exact value of each trigonometric expression. So sine 60, so you can we can use this table for now. Actually, if we were in a regular classroom environment, so we would ask you to memorize this because in advanced functions, you will keep using the uh, exact trigonometric ratios for those special angles. So I definitely recommend you uh, to memorize these values. So you can always go from special triangles to write these ratios. So sine 60, so we get root 3 over 2, times tangent 30. Tangent 30 is root 3 over 3. So root 3 times 3 gives you 3, and we have 2 times 3, 6 here. So we end up with 1 over 2, if we simplify this radical. So let's look at part B. Cosine 45, cosine 45 is root 2 over 2, plus sine 45, sine 45, also root 2 over 2. And we need to add them and take the square of it. Okay, so we have root 2 over 2 plus root 2 over 2. That gives us 2 root 2 over 2. So we can simplify these two. So we end up with root 2 square. So that will give us 2 here. So let's look at part C. Cotangent 45 squared. So cotangent 45 is tangent 1 over tangent 45. Okay? So tangent 45, if you look at it, is 1. So we get 1 over 1 for cotangent 45, which is 1. So we get 1 square minus cosecant 30 is 1 over sine 30. Okay? So Sine 30, is one, sine 30 is 1 over 2, so we get 1 over 1 over 2, which is 2. So cosine 30 is 2, and we need to square it. So we get 1 minus 4, and we end up with negative 3 here. 
So let's look at example two. Choose appropriate special triangle. Determine theta if theta is uh, greater than or equal to zero degree and less than or equal to ninety degree. If we have sine theta equals root three over two, what is theta? So this is the question. Again, for now you can we can uh, use the table here. Okay, so sine thirty is 1 over 2, sine 45 is 1 over root 2, and sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So sine theta, if sine theta equals root 3 over 2, then theta must be 60 degree. So we get 60 degree here. Okay, let's look at part B. Secant theta equals root 2. So to be able to work with it, we need to convert it to primary trigonometric ratio. And we know that secant theta is 1 over cos theta. Similarly, cosine theta equals 1 over secant theta. So then we can take cosine theta equals 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2. Okay, so let's check where uh, which angles gives us that. So cosine theta is root, t root 2 over 2 theta is 45 degree so if we can get 45 degree for theta here let's look at the next example so root 3 tangent theta equals 1 so to be able to solve for theta first we need to isolate tangent theta so we can divide both sides by root 3 so that will give us tangent theta equals 1 over root 3 or root 3 over 3 okay so if you go back to our table here if tangent theta is root 3 over t then theta must be 30 degree so we get theta equals 30 degree here so let's look at part d cosine theta minus 1 equals 1 again to be able to solve for theta we need to isolate this piece here cosecant theta Okay, cosecant theta. So I'm going to move negative 1 to the right side. So we, it gives us positive 1 on the right. 1 plus 1 gives you 2. Okay, again, we need to convert this to a primary trig ratio to be able to solve for theta. And we know that uh, so cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta, then sine theta is 1 over cosecant theta. So then I need to get sine theta here, okay, 1 over 2. Then, again, we can check our table here. If sine theta is 1 over 2, then theta must be 30 degrees. So we get theta being 30 degrees. Now, it is, uh, so you can go to textbook and practice uh, these questions from the textbook. There is also one more practice question. Uh, at the end of this handout, the answers are provided.